There are three options for handling unknown vocabulary. Can you guys use the chat and tell me what the three options are? What can you do when you bump into something that you've no idea how to render? Skip it. Very good. What else? Use it in the same language. So you're a parrot. Just say it how you heard it and guess it. Very good, Jessica. Skip, repeat, guess. Love it, Angie. Very good. And if you do guess, just use generic terms that describe what you think this context is saying about that particular term. Very good. So as we said, say it in the same source language, just as you heard it, skip it, or give it your best shot. So again, I like this option the best. And no matter what you're doing, you have to give me a poker voice. And that's the exercise we're going to be doing today. I want you to record yourself doing this practice. I'm going to block out certain terms. So there's no way you could know these terms because I'm going to say things like foo foo and moo moo and lulu. And you have to choose whether you say lulu or whether you try to skip it or whether you try to guess by context what that word might be. But either way, I want to hear a poker voice. I don't want to hear moo moo. No, I want to hear moo moo. I don't want to hear that after you skipped it, you started sounding uh, hesitant. And I don't want to hear that if you guessed it, you sounded like you're guessing. The whole time the exercise is going to be sell me your poker voice. Act like you know exactly what you're talking about. Moo moo, foo foo, doo doo. And you sound confident saying all this craziness, okay? Because that's a very big deal, number one, that's going to convince you and put you in a certain mind state. And secondly, it, the person who does grade your exam is going to sell them that idea that you're very proficient. Believe it or not, it has a lot to do with acting, okay? So don't stop interpreting it no matter what. We're going to try these three options. I want you to choose one for the test. But no matter what, you keep on moving and you stay calm. Because if you keep going, you won't miss upcoming terms that you do know. So let's say the first term that came up, you don't know, but you do know the second, the third, and the fourth. I don't want it to throw you off so you can pick up exactly where you left off if you just keep going. Okay? So let's practice. I'm going to stop my share here, and I'm going to share my what I have um, planned for us today. Let me make sure I close this one so I can see where I'm at. Okay, here we go. So this first exercise we're going to do, we're going to do it three times. We're going to do it back to back, and I want you to record yourself each time. Okay, so I do want you to, uh, we're going to do it simultaneously. So for those of you who want to close your eyes, you can, but I do want you to, to uh, record yourself. So I'm going to go through the full exercise. You shouldn't be seeing on the screen. No, you're not. You shouldn't be seeing my text. I'm going to read it to you. It's going to be a simultaneous interpretation. When I say begin your recording, you're going to begin recording. You're going to start. And the first thing we're going to do is you're going to keep the terms that I've created that are moo moo, do do, do do, foo foo. You're going to leave them as that okay now here's the caveat i don't want you to worry about vocabulary so we're going to take a quick review of the vocabulary and i am going to share the screen for a moment so you don't feel um worried about right now this is not about do i know this vocab i don't want to be i don't want you to feeling nervous when i'm not trying to make something unknown to you so the first term you're going to focus on is magazine what is magazine use the chat Magazine of a gun. Magazine, cargador, very good. How about live cartridge? Live cartridge. This is all, um, in this case, is cartucho cargado. Bala real, bala cargada, munición real. Okay, it hasn't been used yet. It's ready to go. Okay, live cartridge, cartucho cargado. Then the port of the gun. Port. In this case, puerto de carga, orificio, puerto de salida. Very good. Lock in, se asegura. Strip off, se despega. Pull the trigger, alar el gatillo. And hammer, martillo. Hammer, martillo. That should be super easy. Pull the trigger, alar el gartillo, to strip off, despegarse, to lock in, asegurarse, and port puerto. Think we got them all. All right. Now I'm going to stop my share. 
and I want everybody to begin recording when I say so. I'm going to count down from three to one. You're going to do a simultaneous interpretation. You are going to go into Spanish simultaneously. And I want you to keep the words exactly when you hear them. If you don't like the moo moo and doo doo and tutu -tu are going to stay like that. You're a parrot. You're repeating them, but everything else should be in Spanish. Is everyone ready? Yeah? Okay, good. So here we go. Begin recording in three, two, one. And for the jury, can you explain what a moo moo is and how does it get out of the gun? Okay, this is a doo doo. For this particular firearm and what it does, it's capable of holding 10 two twos. Once the magazine is full, it is inserted into the port and locks in. Once that magazine is inserted, the barrel is pushed forward. It strips a cartridge off and now it's ready to fire. Basically, all you have to do is foo foo. The hammer will come back, the fire pin will strike, and the bullet will proceed out of the barrel. What happens to the shell casing? The shell casing will eventually fall out of the lulu here when the gun is fired and drop to the ground. All right, save that recording. We're gonna go for the second recording. We're gonna do it again. This time we're gonna go for the second option. I want you to compare. After this, we're going to listen to the three recordings. The second recording, you're just going to skip it. When you hear me say moo, moo, doo, doo, foo, foo, lulu, -lu, you skip it and you move on. You try to sound confident. You try not to lose your stride. Okay? The exact same portion we're going to do. This time, you're skipping and sounding confident. We're going to start recording in three seconds, two seconds, one. Here we go. And for the jury, can you explain what a mumu is and how it gets out of the gun? Okay, this is a doo-doo for this particular firearm. And what it does, it's capable of holding 10 tutu. Once the magazine is full, it is inserted into the port and locks in. Once that magazine is inserted, the barrel is pushed forward. It strips a cartridge off, and now it is ready to fire. Basically, all you have to do is fufu. The hammer will come back. The fire pin will strike, and the bullet will proceed out of the barrel. What happens to the shell casing? The shell casing will eventually fall out of the lulu here when the gun is fired and drop to the ground. And now we're going to go for the third in which you're going to try to guess and try to use palabras costales, okay, if you can. Okay, so for example, and for the jury, can you explain what a mumu is and how it gets out of the gun? You could say, maybe, por ejemplo, ¿puede explicar usted qué es esta parte del arma y cómo sale del arma de fuego? Okay, you're going to try to guess it by context, okay? We're going to start recording. In three, two, one. And for the jury, can you explain what a mumu is and how it gets out of the gun? Okay, this is a doo doo for this particular firearm. And what it does, it's capable of holding 10 two two. Once the magazine is full, it is inserted into the port and locks in. Once that magazine is inserted, the barrel is pushed forward. It strips a cartridge off, and now it is ready to fire. Basically, all you have to do is fufu. The hammer will come back. 
the fire pin will strike and the bullet will proceed out of the barrel. What happens to the shell casing? The shell casing will eventually fall out of the Lulu here when the gun is fired and drop to the ground. All right, you guys. So, so far, how does it feel for you? Which, which me method are you most comfortable with? What is working best for you right now? Use the chat to let me know. What feels a little funky? What feels less uncomfortable? Mind you, they're most likely going to feel a little uncomfortable. Adivinar, great, Maribel, because that's my favorite. I mean, you might be right and you might get something. With the other two methods, all you're doing is moving forward, but you're not really playing the game of maybe I'll get it, right? Guessing flows to skip it, Ariana. Okay, if that's what works for you, that's what works for you, okay? Now this is where we're going to put our sensation to the test. One thing is how it feels, another thing is how we really sound, and we can't really evaluate how we sound while we're interpreting. So I'm going to share this document with you, and I want you guys to play your three recordings one after the other, and when you're finished, I want you to let me know in the chat that you're done. And I want you to focus. Yes, we care about precision here and accuracy and all that good stuff. But mostly, I want you to grade yourself on your um, poker voice. Which one is it really helping you sound more like you know exactly what you're talking about? Okay. When you have concluded listening to your three interpretations and you've made up your mind of which one of these you like, use the chat and let me know. 